Greetings YouTubers. Uh, it is January and there is snow on the ground and this is my latest uh, woodworking project. Uh, it's a solar wax melter and just give you a little update. And he says, why do you want to make a solar wax melter? You were using a uh, styrofoam cooler before, which is true, but what happened last year, uh, solar wax melter and a styrofoam cooler works fine, except I leave it out all summer and I throw tidbits of wax in there. And what happened was the thunderstorm came up in the afternoon, I wasn't home, blew the thing across the driveway, broke the glass, so that was the end of that solar wax melter. So I decided to make something more substantial and so I made one out of uh, wood that I had on hand and this is the end product here. Um, basically it's three quarter inch uh, white pine and uh, just lumber I had on, on hand like I said. This is Lexan. Again this piece here was what I had on hand so I built the frame and that's what determined the dimensions of the wax melter. Uh, it has a hinge top on it, so easy access. And this is a deep frame in there now. You can put a whole frames in here if you like, or you can just cut the wax out and then lay it in the tray. And I'm going to have a baffle across here for uh, those type of uh, cases. Um, let's see. The uh, pan here is an oversized, uh, I guess, cookie sheet and it's removable and the inside here the, the wax will drain down into this uh, bread pan here and this baffle here is to keep the front clean basically uh, for any splashes and stuff like that and that's removable all this stuff has got to be removable to clean it up and the bread pan will come out there is insulation on the bottom this is half inch styrofoam one inch on the side only that's because what I had laying around and I got rails on each side here both are angled at a one inch drop from back to front plus it's on a 30 degree angle as well so it's angled more towards the Sun and I have latches on the side that uh, you can close the thing up tight and handles on the side and also one other feature that I incorporated into this is uh, these legs are collapsible I'll show you that okay the legs are now collapsed this way it'll be easier for you to store it in the garage and uh, that's the reason I made it that way and what I found in the past one of the best ways to get really good looking wax is to uh, melt it in a solar wax melter you get a nicer color out of it I think I think the Sun helps bleach the wax and the prettiest wax I've ever seen has been right out of the melter on the first go-round I think every time you heat the wax and cool it I think it gets darker and darker so just a little tidbit if you're interested in uh, winning ribbons with your wax uh, these are all two plus pounds of uh, wax that I've done from previous years. Anyway, so that's an update on my latest beekeeping project. And if you like these videos, hit the red button in the corner, subscribe, and you'll get them a notification via email of any new videos. Um, so that's it. Be happy.